stay. My name is Tom Burt, professional snowboarder from here in Lake Tahoe where I grew up. Been snowboarding since 1982, professional since 1985, involved in the industry um, in all different parts and factions. Draw it on the wall. Started snowboarding, like say, in 1982, so that the boards weren't really designed at that time to ride on, you know, hard pack at all, just powder. We didn't even call it snowboarding, we called it winter sticking or sticking. First day I, I hiked and then just made turns down the hill and made my first pow turns and I was hooked, you know. Wonderful feeling. Why I still do it today. And then that, then the Kemper there in the middle is the first uh, board off the press uh, with my name on it. So that's, and if you look at the serial number, it's 00001, so it's the very first board ever made. I grew up skiing and, and uh, skiing big mountain terrain and then pretty soon I realized that my snowboard was a better tool at that time to be in steep terrain and tight places and so I started doing things I never had done on my skis, on my snowboard. Just do it over and over and over again, practice and practice and practice and do different lines and then and we moved it to, you know, climbing big mountains and snowboarding big mountains, I say we, Jim Zeller and myself. We made a list and started down it. That included, you know, going to Alaska. You know, as far as Valdez and helicopter skiing, that, it was brand new to the area and pretty much nothing was developed. We were one of the, basically had the most experience at that time. So we just started setting out doing new things. And while you're on top, you look and you say, oh, there's another peak there. We'll go there next, you know? So we'd ski this and then we'd go over there and ski that. And when you're on top of that, you'd see something else. So we just opened up new runs and new terrain, first descents. Um, so at the top, when I dropped in, I was very afraid of the snow. We weren't sure, you know, 100% sure on the Abbey Danger. So I went, on the ridge as much as I could even though I was on the face. Skier's right side of it, so if it broke, I had a chance to escape. But skiing on the right side went right towards a big open catcher's mitt, so I ski was right at a big opening. The safest way, even though it's very scary, <laughs> than going the other way, because there was more things that could kill you on the other side. So. And I was very worried about my slough on the steep where the spines were in the main spine that I went down there was spine runnels and in between each spine you could see like blue ice or black ice all in between so easily uh, you know, like lose your edge go off the cliff and that's all above a cliff band and then below the cliff band again is the glacier with the catcher's mitt so it's very uh, there's a lot of exposures that could kill you on that run the one who lights my sun like riding steep terrain for myself, basically, and doing it was overcoming fear in yourself. But for me, I practiced ride steep terrain, even when it was super hard or super uh, bumpy and nasty snow. When I got on terrain, I had the abilities to do it. So it's comfortable for me to be in that situation. You know, being scared on top, of course, you know, I'm very scared, but as soon as I start I turn, I know that I'm on, you know, on my board, on my edge, uh, as much control as I can be, and then it's being very aware of what's going on around you, so I become hyper aware, so that the more intense that uh, something is, the more my mind takes in and my brain takes in everything. Um, yeah, and I think that all the skills that you learn from trying Everything you do, like those skills translate through all the things you do.